What's up guys, Skitter Rampage here. So today, this is going to be my New York Comic Con Funko Pop guide for 2020. Let's check it out. Alright guys, so I'm sure this video is long overdue by now. Um, I don't know if anybody else has made a guide video or things like that, but um, I basically wanted to do it the, as close to the con as possible just so everybody has it fresh in their memory and everybody's ready to go. So a lot of this information is out there on various pages, but you guys have been asking me to do this video and I love doing these videos and helpful videos for you guys and have all the information in one video. So also if I miss anything in the, um, in the video talking about the guide and things like that, you guys can feel free to answer or ask any questions, other questions you may have. I'm going to cover basically everything you need to know for the most part, I believe at least, um, but if I miss something, of course, comment down below, let me know, and I'll answer it to the best of my ability for you. So, um, there's various questions that I got between Instagram and um, um, YouTube comments is what I'm trying to say, so uh, we're basically going to go over those and I'm going to tell you guys like how to get them, when to get them, and where to get them. So first up, we're going to go over all the shared retailers and where every single Funko Pop is going for U.S. stores. And if anybody needs, like anybody international needs to know where they're going, make sure to check out where to, my, uh, where to get NYCC 2020 Funko Pop videos. It's very informative and it helps you know like which, um, you know, which place is getting what. Um, I'm just doing U.S. because it's a little easier to do it here because the majority of my subscribers are U.S. And uh, I don't want to make the video too, too long going over every single list. So sorry about that, but you guys can't check Check out the other video and just you know check out just check out the video it, it'll tell you <laughs> but anyway so um, for show only um, you get the bloody bin and then you get a uh, snake for Amazon you get Jiminy Cricket you get baby Yoda the child Robin Sparkles and Fezzik from Princess Bride so that is where you can get all those now Amazon did do a early pre-order on um, Jiminy Cricket and um, the child but it's probably gonna go right back up anyway so it's I doubt it's sold out but they uh, put the link up for a while and then they draw or took it off the website I don't know why they did that why not just keep it up until it sells out really weird um, for Books A Million, it is getting the Ron Weasley from Harry Potter, for anybody looking um, for the uh, the World Cup, I believe that's what it's called. Um, for Barnes & Nobles, we're getting Wonder Woman and Venomized Magneto, so make sure to check out your local Barnes & Nobles. Something I like about my mall is that it has Hot Topic, Box Lunch, GameStop, um, Barnes & Nobles, and Target all in one big area that's like basically all a mile radius, so it makes it super easy to get stuff. And then Walgreens, I don't think Walgreens got any exclusives, but Walgreens like right down the street, which is awesome. So. Um, for Box Lunch, it is getting Daredevil, Zombie Daredevil, and um, it's getting the up two pack of Ellie and, um, Ellie and Carl, and then it's also getting Flocked Growlithe. Um, for Entertainment Earth, they are getting Bar Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, so that's an online-only exclusive. They should be fairly easy to get, um, but Entertainment Earth's website has crashed in the past, but it's really good that they're not getting something too crazy popular or a couple exclusives that are popular, so it should not really crash Personally, that's my personal opinion on that. Um, for FYE, it is getting Stitch Baker. Now, I don't have an FYE anywhere near me. Um, one is coming soon, so that's kind of cool. For GameStop, it is getting the Ein and uh, or Ed and Ein uh, Pop Tea, uh, which is flocked. Also getting Beetlejuice, um, Wolfman Bart, Kaguya, which is going to be a very, very popular one. So if you want to get the, or get one, get there early. The 10 Inch Beastman flocked, and then also Miles Morales Art Series. Um, for Hot Topic, getting a lot of the most anticipated ones as well. We got Nightwing. Somebody actually asked me in a comment on another video what I thought about Nightwing. So if you're watching this, I actually think it's a really cool pop. It's really, um, really detailed, and I'm glad they actually made a new one because I'm assuming it's because of the new game coming out to get like more hype around that. So it's actually kind of cool. I like this one. A lot of people says I um, say I look like. Um, the, uh, the actor from Titans, um, Robin, which is kind of funny. Um, we have Mr. Compress from My Hero Academia, also going to Hot Topic. Comic Book Guy from Simpsons, Red Goblin, um, which is really cool. We also have Junji Ito Suichi um, from Target. We have Pikachu, the one of the most anticipated pops, Danny Phantom, and then also G.I. Joe Beachhead, I believe that's his name. Um, Toy Tokyo is getting the two Motu pops, um, Spikor and um, Envy Adams from... Uh, Scott Pilgrim. So that is where um, most of the sodas are going. And then Walmart is getting Recyclops Dwight from The Office and Bash from Fortnite. So the Funko Shop is, or these are only on Funko Shop, only available online. We have the Joker from the Breast Cancer Awareness line. We have Molly and their house. We have Captain Crook from the McDonald's um, Icons line. Dum Dum. We have the Polly Pigeon and Pizza Rat variants of the exclusives. 
Um, we have the Hanna-Barbera two-pack of the mo uh, mouses or mice. Um, and then we also have the Luke and Leia Jedi training pops, which comes as a um, bundle only. For anybody wondering, you cannot buy them separately, um, but it is not like a two-pack. And then also um, the Freddy Soda and then She-Ra, which the Freddy Soda is uh, comes with a chase. I believe She-Ra comes with a chase as well. But the Freddy Soda is limited to 2,000 pieces, which is going to get crazy. I expect that one to go in the lottery fairly fast, I will say, unfortunately. So that is your shared retailer list for us like i said if you're international make sure to check out my other video um, i'll link it down below if that's easier for you guys or you can just search nycc where to get in youtube and it'll pop up um, so that can give you guys like an easy list on where to get your pops all right guys so next up i want to do the pricing guide for the pop so a regular standard four inch pop is going to be $15 always for any con every single year unless they decide to up the price sometime. A 10 inch pop is going to be $50 at GameStop. Unfortunately, the Beastman, they like to mark it up for some reason, but on the Funko website it is actually going to be $30, which is kind of confusing and weird so that they do two different prices. One place is $15 more, unfortunately. A pop two pack will be $30, which it always has been. Uh, vinyl soda is going to be $12 a pop. Now, um, it doesn't say for the um, the up two pack, which is technically kind of like a moment, as well as the um, movie moment for uh, Molly in the house from um, Harry Potter. I believe those are the two biggest pops um, other than 10 inch Beastman. Um, now, I think those pops are going to be around 40 bucks. I think that's what previous cons have been. So that's probably a good it's either 40 or 45, but I think it's 40. So, um, like I said, four inch pop, $15, 10 inch pop, um, 30 on the website and 50 at GameStop in store, uh, pop two pack 30, vinyl soda 12, and then the moment 40 to $45. So everybody has the prices down. All right guys, so as far as when these pops are going live on the website or their respective shared retailer and when um, you guys can get them, like what date, it should be October 9th. That should be the date in stores, whenever your store opens, wherever you are in the world, um, like for example, Target or Hot Topic, if they open up at 12 p.m., then that is when the pops will be available to be sold and the register lock should be taken off and everything like that. Now, um, as far as online, it says, Funko says, online shared retailers exclusives will go live at 9 a.m. PDT on 10-9. Now, I highly doubt these retailers are gonna wait until 10-9 because most of the time they always release them early like literally at 12 a.m. on the 9th is technically when they normally go live. So basically the night of the 8th and technically going into the um, early, early hours of the 9th, 12 a.m. EST is typically when they go live. Um, but Funko saying 9 a.m. PADT, I highly doubt that's going to follow. There's going to be some random release because there always is. For San Diego Comic-Con, they released everything 15 minutes early than the scheduled time, unfortunately, and a lot of people end up missing it. I don't know why they schedule these times and then release them early. It's highly, highly annoying as a collector when you're trying to get something and it's already difficult in itself to get these things and then they release it early and you miss the drop. So um, I, I would not trust this time for live at 9 a.m. PDT because basically while you're waiting in line, you could essentially go on their website and get everything you want. Uh, but I, I just don't think it's going to be live. That's my personal opinion though. It could, we, we will see on the date. Um, now, if the links go live, I mean, I'm gonna post all the links in my Facebook group and uh, Discord, it's already posted. I just need to get all the links together for Facebook. Um, so we're gonna see, but my gut tells me that they're going to release these at 12 a.m. EST like they always do. <laughs> so. Basically, just, just be aware of the night between, just be aware the whole day between 10-8 and 10-9 because they could release any time online at any retailer. They're, they're all different normally, all the time zone or the time slots, but they could just release them at any time they want. So that's pretty much all the information I can give you on the time online because it's going to be an absolute, just, it's going to be crazy. All right, guys, so technically in-store releases are going to be easier, but not much easier than online releases because online releases, everybody's attacking one place at once, thousands upon thousands of people because some of these pops are really, really sought after. Now, in-store releases are gonna be very, very tricky. So because of COVID and everything, everything's slowing down and things like that. So a lot of people are kind of discouraged because a lot of people just don't wanna go out because of COVID. So it's a good thing and it's a bad thing uh, because people like to camp out. And listen, for example, it, my Hot Topic opens up at 12 p.m., but people camp out there since six, like 6 a.m., I'm, I'm not joking. Six hours they wait for these pops. So it's it, it's kind of unfortunate 
when you kind of go in there like an hour before and you have 20 people in line in front of you and some camp or some tents and chairs and sodas and a barbecue going and you're just like, what is happening? So um, <laughs> if you want to get the pops you want in store, I recommend going early, but go as early as you like feel comfortable with going because it can be sketchy out there. Just be safe. If you're going to camp outside the store to try to get these releases, please be safe. Like I typically go about two, three hours early, but um, this is how I'm going to do my schedule. Everybody's asking. This is my schedule. I'm hitting up Target first for Danny Phantom. They open up at 8 a.m. Hot Topic opens up at 12 p.m. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to go at like... I'm probably going to go a little earlier than I normally do because these are Comic-Con Pops. So I'll probably get there at like 6.30. I'll wait in line for like an hour and a half. Hopefully get my Danny Phantom. And then I'm going to move over to Hot Topic and Box Lunch and all those stores. Um, now, unfortunately, it's going to be very difficult because Kaguya is at GameStop and I really want her. And Hot Topic has Junji Tosuichi. It also has Mr. Compress, which sucks. So, And then what? it's unfortunate because I got to go wait in line at Target while people are getting in line at um, Hot Topic. And then people are already going to be in line for GameStop. And it's, it's going to be a whole freaking mess, unfortunately. So it's going to be difficult to get everything. I really hope I can't get everything uh, because it's going to suck. And a lot of people are asking me if I'm going to do like a hunt video. I'm going to try my best. But when these cons happen, they just rush in and grab everything. So it's really hard to get footage of these pops and show you guys everything up close because everybody's just grabbing everything as fast as possible. So it's going to be an absolute madhouse. Um, and I'm hoping every store like makes some sort of line. They really, they're really tight on security because on the latest Target Con release, my store, everybody just started running to the back. And I was like, okay, what was the point of us waiting in line if everybody's going to just run to the back? And then people were getting upset and things like that. I expect it to be hectic. All I'm saying is, guys, please, everyone keep their cool. Nobody get arrested. Nobody freaking get kicked out of Target over a pop. Be calm, cool, and collective, and be fair to everybody. Don't buy up all the stock just because you can. Like, just let everybody else have a chance at it. Now, I know I'm saying this on a whim because nobody's really going to follow it, but it's like, and yes, people can say, if you had the opportunity to buy that many, would you? No, I would buy, probably buy two. You know, one to trade, one to key, but that's about it. I don't need five. I'm not, you know, I don't resell to pay my bills now if i did resell to pay my bills sure i'll buy five ten but i don't like i don't need to um and i'm not saying reselling is not a real job so nobody hit me up in the comments about that that's not what i'm saying <laughs> but yes yeah, so basically everyone be cool calm and collective at the stores uh, be safe if you're waiting outside these stores for these pops and uh just be there a couple hours early don't expect to get there at 11 30 and be upset that you didn't get this pop because there's 30 people in line ahead of you. Listen, that's just bad scheduling. I'm telling you, all of these stores are gonna have people camping out. Get there early. That's that's my best, that's all I can tell you. Get there early, bring a snack, bring a backpack, bring some headphones because you're gonna be there a minute. But it'll save you some money. I promise you it's worth it. Um, well, four hours of your time for, I don't know. It really, it really, it really depends how much your time is worth, to be honest. Like my time is worth a lot to me. So I don't really wait out for most releases, but if I don't have anything going on that day, then sure, I'll wait. So that is the best advice I can give you for in-store releases. Just be safe, be there early and uh, bring enough money. <laughs> so this is a question that I want to reiterate the answer to uh, because I did it in another video, but I want to get it out to the people watching this video as well. And it's been asked a lot and it, that is, all the lottery winners, the 11,000 people that did win, and they're going to go on their two um, time slots, is there going to be any more Funko Pop stock left from Funko Shop, like the Funko Shop, to go up later for collectors to try to get on the website? Um, now, Funko said in a customer service email that if they have any more stock left, then they're going to throw it up on the website. Personally, I don't know why they're saying if. There's a guarantee. There, I promise you there's a 100% guarantee that there, there's just no way they only made 11,000 pieces. And literally on the Funko shop for the lottery winners, they can only get one of each item. They can buy like multiple different items, but they can't buy multiples of that single item. So for example, they can only get one Danny Phantom. They can't get two, three, four, five. They can't. Um, and they basically split up the stock for each. So each one, each time slot gets 5,500 stock. So there's more than enough for everybody to get at least one of things, um, but I, I I don't know. So it's 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 tricky. Um, but personally, I think they made they didn't just make eleven thousand pieces. Come on now. Now all the a lot of the shared stock went to the stores and things like that. But there's just no way they're gonna miss out on all that money on the online purchases. So I can get well I can I'm not gonna guarantee you, but 
my personal opinion, yes, there's going to be plenty more stock going up in the Funko shop. I don't know why they won't guarantee anyone. There's just no way they only have that much stock allotted for the lottery and that it's not going up on the shop later like it always has been. It always has. It always will. So, hopefully that eases somebody's mind or things like that. And, uh, I mean, essentially, anyways, you have three shots at getting these pops. Well, four if you're in the lottery. So, the lottery, if you won... You have the online retailers, you have Funko Online if they decide to do it because they seem to keep it on an if basis, and in-store. And then if you want to count eBay and Mercari, then you have some other chances there, but you got to pay a little bit more money. Also, a lot of people have been asking, what am I getting from the Comic-Con? And that'll probably be the last point of this video. So what I am getting from Comic-Con is, hopefully, is Danny Phantom, Mr. Compress, Kaguya, those are really the main three that I want. Um, I would like to try to get the up two pack, maybe. I do want a uh, Red Goblin as well, but I'm gonna decide if I really want him there, um, or maybe I can get him later. Um, Junji Ito is a really cool one as well, so I'm gonna de decide on that one while waiting in line. Uh, maybe comic book guy, I'm not entirely sure yet. But yeah, that, as far as as far as far the rest, I don't really want too many, and uh, I'm going to be doing a review video on all of those. So if I don't get out a, um, NYCC hunt video, I'll do my best, but if I don't get one out, then you guys are going to see like a ton of different reviews. Like, I'm going to do my best to review Kaguya, Danny Phantom, uh, Junji Ito, like I, there's going to be like maybe five videos in YCC day, so just be ready, get your popcorn, put your pops next to you, be ready to watch those videos. But anyways, if this was helpful to you in some sort of way, or if you have any other questions, make sure to comment down below and click that like button if it was helpful to you. I'd really appreciate it, um, and I just really hope I was able to answer everybody's questions in this video, but there's always another question so, from another collector, so make sure to drop that down below if um, you need to. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I want to say a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. I appreciate the support so much. You guys are absolutely amazing for supporting the channel each and every month. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. You guys get Patreon-only content, Patreon-only videos, early access to... That's basically what the Patreon-only content is, early access to things, and sometimes I show only Patreon certain things, as well as you guys can get free gifts sent from me to you on select tiers. So... Make sure to check that out down below. I also want to tell you guys to join my Facebook group and Discord. Really great communities over there. They are buy, sell, and trade folks as well as you can make a ton of friends. Make sure to follow my social medias, Instagram and Twitter to stay up to date. And make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to stick around. Also, if anybody has made it this far, if there are any new updates on times or scheduling issues with Funko and retailers, I will update you guys on um, Twitter or Instagram. So make sure to be following me over there. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.